Hello, this is a video on how to correctly play the game Waffle. If you don't know what Waffle is, go to wafflegame.net, check it out. It's a Wordle offshoot, and it's basically a hundred times better than Wordle. It activates much many more parts of your brain. It's like much more satisfying when you do it right. And this is a video to show you how the method in which to get a five-star uh, Waffle game every single time. Um, I'm making this video because it seems like on YouTube there's only two kind of waffle how to play waffle videos. There's like people who go, oh, I see a, a KN, it's probably an N over here, and then I bet this L goes down there, and they get so excited and they do this and they end up getting three stars and it says to the end, splendid, you did three stars and they think they did good. No. Anything under than five stars is a total failure. The thing it'll say that you did a good job, but it's just trying to be nice. Less than five stars, you should feel a deep and lasting sense of shame. Uh, the other video I see on, on how to play Waffle is like, you gotta like work it all out ahead of time and write down the letters and do these mathematical equations. And it's just, it's too much. It's too much for me. I'm try, trying to play a game here. I'm not trying to like win the Fields Medal. Okay, so uh, here's, here's my method. My method, you only have to remember two principles about when you can swap the tiles. You don't have to solve all the words ahead of time. Um, and you get five stars every single time. No, 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 sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Okay, so here's a good one that uh, kind of meets the kind of principle, show, shows the, these two rules that I have pretty well. So rule, rule number one, you can only swap two letters if you know that those two letters will end up being an exact match. All right, that should be pretty pretty simple. So two letters, swapping places, both of them end up being locked in, exact matches, go ahead and swap that anytime. Rule number two is a little bit trickier. You can also only swap a letter if the letter that you're moving into its place is the only one of that letter left that is still movable. And so in this video, you'll hear me say like the only of that letter left. That doesn't, I, that's just my shorthand way of saying the only letter of that letter left that we can still move. So if I say this is the only I left, it doesn't mean that's that, that I can see that there's another I over here, but this one is locked into place. So for all I care, this is the only I left. Okay, so you can only ever swap tiles when it's a mess, exact match or the letter that you're trying to put in the place is the last of that letter that's on the board. Okay, so we'll kind of do this one and I'll show you how this works. So here I'm looking at this B and I know that it's in this row, this column, but it's not here, so it's gotta be there. Now I look around to see, are there any other Bs here? And there's not, so I feel good. I can move that into the place there. Next, we're looking at this and saying, well, obviously this is the word fiber, but there's two different E's here. You might look at this E over here and say, oh, this E belongs into that word, so I should be moving this E. No, don't do it, it's a trick. We don't know whether this is the optimal E or that's the optimal E to be moving quite yet. So we have to pass on that one for now, but we'll keep that in our brain because it will help us for other things. For example, right now, when we're trying to look at the next place that my eye went to was seeing what letter would go here. So um, I would expect maybe seeing an L to go right here, blah, but we have an L over here and it says that L isn't in the word, so it's not an L. I might expect an E to go here, blah, something, but we know that there's an E here and we know that this E belongs over there. So the next letter that I, letter that I think it could be is an R and I've gone through this process already and I was like, well, it's definitely gonna be an R there. So the R, this is the only R that we can move. And so I feel comfortable, I can move it. And look at that, I got myself a little free exact match. I didn't think that was gonna happen. Uh, even if that didn't end up being exact match, it's totally fine. Uh, it was the last R that we could move. And so we've put it into that place. Okay, now let's take a look. Uh, bra well, this is, I think brass could fit into here. Uh, again, I've already done this, so I kind of went through all the different possibilities and I said, well, there's the only, only thing that can be in here is brass, but we can't move the S's yet because we don't know if the optimal S placement is the S goes there or that S goes there. And it matters. This stuff matters, you guys. 
Uh, so we'll have to just keep in our head that this word is brass and there's an S right here, which means this E belongs, an E belongs down there, but again, we can't move it because we don't know whether this E or that E is the optimal E. But then we can keep it in our head and say, okay, it's L something S-E-R, and the only thing that it can be is an O, but there's two O's, so we don't know which one of these O's we can move. And you, at this point, you might be saying, Stephen, you told me I didn't have to like figure all these out ahead of time. But right here is where we can stop and say, wait a minute. I know there's an O that belongs right there and an E that belongs right there. So because those are going to be exact matches, now I can swap those and those become exact matches. All right. Now that we've done that, the, that E gets locked in, and now we can say, okay, this is the last remaining E. I know that it goes right there, and I put it like that. All right, uh, we still can't put those S's where they belong, but we can kind of take a look at some other things and say, okay, uh, this is the last O. So the last that we know, oh, I guess I should say, I already worked it out, and I figured out that the, it was, the O wasn't going to go here. And so I, was, I feel confident saying that the O is going to go over there. And now let's like kind of look through here. What could this be? I don't think a G is going to be over there. I don't think the G is going to be right there. I think that A N G makes sense. C L A N G clang that works. And then since we only have a few letter, a few words that we haven't figured out yet, we can kind of stop and like plan out and say, okay, the A is going to go over there and uh, make focal, that makes sense. The eye is going to go down here and make rigor. You know, it's much easier to do this in the head when you only have like three words that you're trying to work out. So I feel good about everything lining up and I can just keep on with my rules and say, okay, the G is the only G left. I can put it down there. Everything's going to be fine. The at C is going to go up there. I can put it there. Uh, the L is going to go there. And that ended up giving us our perfect swap there for the L, uh, perfect matches on both sides. And now I can move this S because this is the last remaining S. And now there it is. Five swaps remaining. Five stars. Every single time. I promise. What are you doing watching this video still? Stop watching this video. Go to waffletogame.net and get your five stars. Thanks.